A Paulding County canine cop is dead with a fellow sheriff's deputy shooting him. Yeah, the big question, so how could this happen? New at 9, CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy went to Paulding County to find out. Jamie? Mike, in the words of the sheriff's department, it was the perfect storm for an unfortunate event. One they are still coming to terms with. The deputy pulled a service weapon and discharged it, striking and killing uh, canine Vero. Canine Vero had been a member of the Paulton County Sheriff's Department for over seven years. On July 19th, he was shot and killed in the line of duty. The strange and unfortunate thing is, it was by one of his fellow deputies. He and his partner, Corporal Kilgore, were responding to a male suspect who had fled on foot. Corporal Kilgore spotted the man jumping fences, left his car to pursue the suspect and K-9 Vero. Dog and Handler form a special bond and through the intense situation of sirens and radio, K-9 Vero was hyped up and wanted to be with his handler. He was able to fit through a partially open section of his onboard kennel to the front cabin and out through a partially opened window. No officer knew the dog was out. K-9 Vero's training kicked into gear and he attacked a fellow Paulding County deputy also involved in the foot pursuit. Uh, he actually bit the deputy in the back of the leg uh, and as these dogs are trained, they're trained to bite and hold. And the deputy, not knowing that the dog had been released, pulled a service weapon and discharged it, striking and killing uh, K-9 Vero. The officer received puncture wounds and scratches to his leg. The unfortunate incident has left everyone devastated. You know, this has been heart-wrenching on our agency uh, because we are a very family-oriented, tight-knit agency. The Sheriff's Department says during the hot summer months, canines will only wear bulletproof vests that would identify them in dangerous situations. So the officer involved would have had no idea the dog, the dog attacking him was part of his team.